Hey guys, we're back for the second video on creating your own categories. The last video we did was on the static categories. This is going to be for the dynamic categories. Now these are a little bit more involved, but don't be scared. I'm going to walk you through it here um, and show you that it's not all that bad and it's actually a pretty powerful tool that you can use to create your own specific categories. So, uh, as we did in the last video, we're going to go to store catalog and categories. And again, if you remember, in the last video, we created a static category in here called pencils. So we want to do the same thing, but we're going to create a dynamic one this time. So again, to put a, if you want to put it in a specific folder, make sure you have that selected before you hit new category. So I've got my demo folder selected. I want to create a dynamic category. I'm going to hit new category. All right, so we're going to call this one dynamic pencils. Uh, and again, uh, in the last video, if you want to be more specific, you can add a little more of the uh, SEO uh, and meta information here. You can change the uh, the layout. You know, I went ahead and just saved it there for me. You can set the, the rank and how you want that done. Uh, but more importantly, what I'm going to show you is the how to add the specific products. So let's go ahead and hit select here. All right, so what we're going to do is basically you're going to create little uh, rules, if you want to call them that. So the little demo that we're going to create here, I have uh, pencils. I want to create a page that is going to showcase only yellow pencils, like this one right here. So I need to get the information, the specific information about this product. So I want to go visit this product. You can do that in the front end or you can do it in the back end. If you're doing it from the front end like we are here, uh, at the top of the page, assuming you are logged in, you should be able to hit edit this product. Once you're on this edit product page, which I'm assuming you've probably seen before, you want to go to the type properties tab. Now this information here is what we're going to use on this page here. I have two tabs open, so I'm going back and forth between two windows here, or two tabs, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and add a filter group. All right, so basically right here is where we're going to set the parameters for what products this category is going to pull, okay? So let me go back to this other tab here, and what I want is we're going to use actually a combination uh, of two things here to create this category. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to set the color. So when I hover over this, if you notice this little pop-up window, it gives the ID. This ID here, uh, it looks like a bunch of gobbly gook, but this ID is actually what the system uh, refers to this product as its barrel color, as you see right here. So once I've grabbed that, I'm going to highlight that, copy that, and we're going to go back to our category page, and I'm going to click Add New Product Property. So the product property ID, which is what we just copied and pasted, it's that long number, right? And then the property value, again, if we go back, is yellow. It's basically just the color. And the way we want to put this in, we have to put this in uh, the way it is specifically on this page. So if it's yellow with a capital Y, that's the way we're going to input it in here. So yellow. So we hit checkbox. So all we've done right now, if we hit uh, save and continue, all we have done right now is we've created a filter that says, I want this category to pull every product in your website that has the property type of a barrel color yellow. So we need to be a little bit more specific than that. So what we can actually do is use these fields right here and we want to, let's see, the product type. We want pencils. So by selecting pencils of the product type and hitting this the checkbox right here, now what we're saying is I want to pull all the pencils in our website. Not only do I want to pull all the pencils, but I want to pull all the pencils specifically that have a yellow barrel. So now that you're on this page, if you hit save and continue, as you can see, it's gonna it's gonna basically populate down here all these products that we've now specified. So let that load here, and there's all our results. You can see we got about uh, four pages worth, uh, but about 35 items. Um, and again, what we've done here is we've told this category, we specified, hey, we want all the pencils on the website. 
And once you get all those pencils, I want you to drill down even more. I want all the pencils that are just yellow. So let's go to return to category. Let's do view in store. And we will see that all these products in here that are being displayed are only going to be populated with the filters that we have just now put in place. Alright, so I'm going to go back to edit this category. And again, you can be as specific or as uh, general as you want. Um, a lot of people create these uh, if they have, there's a lot of different variations you can use. Again, it's a lot more flexible than a static category. Um, so let's go in here and edit. And you can create uh, as many different variations um, or be as specific as you want. Uh, again, you can use the product type. And if you go back to the actual product itself, not all the products are going to have the same IDs, obviously. Um, you know, a grip type is not going to be something you're going to, a property that you're going to find on, say, paper, obviously. Um, so these are kind of very specific to each product. But you're going to use these IDs, and you can be as specific as you want to, to creating the categories that you want. So that's it. I hope you, everybody followed up with that. Um, and I try to make that as simple as possible. And again, I did say that dynamic categories are a little more involved than static categories, but they're a lot more customized and uh, they're better suited for, uh, I guess, more uh, bigger categories that you want to create.